Hello there. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about how we calculate the wave functions of an infinite potential well, extending from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to L. If you like what I do and you'd like to support it, well then Patreon is the place to do that. So, let's begin. I'm going to be building on previous videos, specifically solving the time-independent Schrodinger equation using the characteristic equation, and a small bit about what a wave function is. So, if what's written on your screen doesn't make sense to you, well then the current video isn't the one you should be starting on. You should be going back to my solving the time-independent Schrodinger equation. The solution to which, or the general solution to which, is given at the center of your screen. And I won't be deriving it in this video, I'll simply be drawing on the previous results. Now, though I won't be using Dirac's bracket notation, I think it's useful and important to show the relationship or the link between wave functions and KETs, or abstract quantum states. That's given in the center of your screen, and if that doesn't make sense to you, I refer you to a previous video where I discussed what a wave function is. The bottom line here is that in quantum mechanics we deal with abstract quantum state quantum states which are known as kets given like this and that provided we're using the position basis which is continuous we can actually do all of our calculations using the continuous wave function and that means we can make the following substitutions here. So that shouldn't be new to you, and like I said, I refer you to my previous video for more. Right, let's start solving the, the wave functions for the infinite potential well. 